this is a hole in the boards around my window. Some little critter, probably a squirrel, decided she wanted access to the house. I've had trouble with her before, and I've been able to stop her from gaining access. I've stuck a piece of cardboard in the hole so it's easier to push it out than in. It's been there for a couple of months. I just wanted to make sure that there was no animal stuck inside before I patched it. So I'm going to walk around, pull the cardboard out of the hole so that I can start prepping the area. I think she was trying to build a nest. As you can see she was doing a pretty good job in the area. I've learned along the way I've got to put a little extra deterrent in. So I'm going to put a little bit of this metal into the area to make it a little more difficult for her to get through. I want to make sure it's pushed back in so when I put the water putty over top of it, none of the metal pokes out. Get a couple of pieces in there just to make sure. So that should be enough to keep her uh, from trying to get in there again. This is the water putty that I use. I'm going to try to guess at how much I need. I usually do a pretty bad job of it. And then I'm either remixing it or I'm running around the house trying to find other places that need a little extra help. I want to get it to a pretty thick consistency. The reason I use this is I can mix up just as much as I need and it's dry to start with. I've got, I know people who use Bondo for this. My Bondo is always drying up on me. So this seems to work a lot better. Just want a little bit more powder added to it. I just want a little thicker. Okay, that looks like it's gonna stick pretty well. I gotta use it pretty quickly though. It doesn't take too long before it starts drawing on me. So I'm trying to put some of this into the area. It actually could have been a little bit thicker. It's doing okay, but... This one little piece of metal that keeps trying to poke out. Pushed in a little harder. Try to get all the outside areas as smooth as possible. And this will be our first coat. We'll let this let this dry. Okay, I'm going to give that an hour or so. Okay, well, I mixed up another batch of the stuff. It's about the same thickness. I was trying to get it a little thicker. I really didn't succeed. It still stays pretty nice on the spoon. Very slow moving. The 
Yeah, it really should have been a little bit thicker. Oh well. Do the best I can with it. Try to save it. Not gonna be perfect, but it'll definitely keep the squirrel out. It's been about a half hour and I just want to shape it a little bit more, kind of smooth it out. And in about another 45 minutes, I'll give it one final thin coat. Okay, I mixed up the thinner version of this. It moves a lot more, it might be a little too thin, but we're gonna see. Let that dry for 24 hours. 